you guys ever get the feeling playing high pixel skyblock the dream that every skyblock player has which is to be rich in the game and never have to actually play the game again because the game sucks and we all hate it but we play it because we can't stop and there's no getting out of it well this could be a little step towards that So if you guys couldn't tell already, we are going to be teaching you today in this video how to fully AFK the Ice Walkers, which are mobs found in the Dwarven Mines. These Ice Walkers can drop many valuable items that can be used for selling or even like they're actually useful items for early game players and the Glacite Jewels are rather useful for any tier player. So here we go, here are the drops that you can get from this mob. So here we go, the Glacite Jewels are the thing that we want this is the most valued thing right now i believe they're selling individually for around 45k a piece you can sell stacks of them for higher but this is what we want this is the big money value and then it drops the full glacite armor set this set gives a lot of defense and is basically just a mining set more of an early game set now this setup to um to afk these mobs is very easy to make so let's jump over to the auction house and i'll show you what you need so as you can see right here the jewels are selling themselves for around fifty-five thousand a piece and the armor sets are around 10 to twenty thousand, depending on the piece what do you need for this let's get right into it so probably the cheapest armor that you're gonna be able to use for the actual afk is what I would recommend anyways is three force glacite and a slime hat the slime hat basically just helps you not have knockback you can reforge it and enchant it to get a little bit more health none of my stuff is reforged or enchanted because I'm using a bit different armor this is the best stuff for like cheaper this is what you're gonna be using if you're just starting out and you need money that's why you're doing this and you don't have much time to play um, a weapon that you might want uh, is the Raider's Axe. The Raider's Axe gains you an extra 20 kills or 20 coins per monster kill and it also does plus one damage per 500 monster kills and plus one strength for every 500 wood in your wood collections. And the big thing here is that if you're using a more expensive setup like me you'll have the Vampire Mask. This Vampire Mask here has an ability called rejuvenate while wearing it drains five health per second from all of the monsters within eight blocks now that might not sound that impressive but its ability actually procs the thunderlord five on this raider's axe so it gets that little bit extra amount of damage from the thunderlord i'm also using a soro chest plate just for a little bit more magic find but this is rather expensive so you might not want to go with this just a heads up, if you are looking to go with the more expensive setup, I believe that the Vampire Mask right now is selling for around 10 million coins, 8 to 10 million coins. And the Sorrow Chestplate, I believe, is around 12, but I'm not sure on that as of the current prices. But those 8 to 10 and uh, 10 to 12 million is around what I would expect to pay for each one of these pieces here. But the main point of this AFK setup is the pet. Now let's go on to that. So the most important part of this setup right here is this little pet right here. It's called the bow pet or the ball pet. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, tell me down in the comments which way to pronounce it. I'm not really sure. But right, right here, this pet does a ability called fire whip, which every five seconds while in combat, bow will strike nearby enemies with his fire whip, dealing a certain amount of your damage as true damage. That damage number scales as you level up the pet. So this, you need at least an epic pet. I recommend getting an epic pet. They're around eight to 10 million coins, depending on the level that you're wanting. I'm lazy, so I bought a level 81 for like 12 million coins. And it also had a dwarf tur turtle shaman on it, which is why I don't use a slime hat. But so basically once you get to level like 80, like I have, it does 8% of your true damage, which is way more than enough to one shot an ice walker. So through my tests and trials on this, I was doing hourly recordings of basically how much I was making per hour. Per hour, I was, depending on how lucky the hour was, I was making anywhere from 1.2 million 
to 3.6 million per hour, 100% AFK. This is why this method is so OP. If you can afford that $10 million price tag on the bow pack and you just level it up yourself, you're going to be making $1.2 million right out of the gate as long as you have a bit of magic find. So now I'm here in the Dwarven Mines and I'm going to show you guys really quickly just how to get to where the uh, Ice Walkers spawn. So here's where you spawn in. You're literally just going to run over here. You're going to run to the right side. You're going to go through this, this big gate here, run across here, go over this bridge. You see this bridge right here. You're going to jump down. Don't fall in the big hole of ghosts. I have died at least three times doing that. Then you, uh, you, you come down here and come through this little passageway. Once you get to this intersection, you turn right and then you run straight. And this is where the ghosts spawn or the ice walkers spawn right here. Literally all you do is you stand in the middle with your ball pad out, your uh, armor set on, and you just sit here. You have your raider's ax out and the battle pad instantly strikes it. And you can see my kill combo going up in the bottom corner, proving that I am actually killing them. And since you have telekinesis on your Raider's Axe, you are getting the drops instantly. So this is literally all you need to do to AFK your Ice Walkers and make millions of coins an hour. If you have any more questions, comment them down below. If you guys have anything you want me to do a video on, comment it down below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas.